Ned, I was doing some research last night. Did you know that 37.4528% of all statistics are made up? Well, that doesn't surprise me. But I got one for you. Yeah. Did you know that 20% of all office coffee mugs contain fecal matter? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> well, did you know did you can calibrate a pressure switch with a push of one button? You know, that reminds me of a good customer that told me one time that he was able to calibrate 40 pressure switches in one day. 40? It was an impressive number. And, uh, well, maybe you can show us how to do one today. Sure. Let's see what that looks like. In this case, we have a pressure switch. We have a pressure source. We have a documenting calibrator that will be measuring our inputs and the output of the switch. We just start by hitting Documenting Calibrator. All right. Now press the yellow star. I want you to create a new tag. And the input here will be pressure. We're set for PSI. That's our units. Step two will be the output. Make sure it's set to switch. Got it. Step three will be our set and reset. Our set, in this case, is 16 PSI. OK. Reset is 15.5. And what is the set action? So the set action is what type of switch is it? In this case, this happens to be a normally closed, so our switch is closed. As we increase the pressure, it'll actuate. And where it actuates in this switch will open. So we want to choose open. <clears throat> Got it. All right. We are set for one test cycle and to gather data automatically. Now, this is our tolerance. Right now, this is defaulting to half a percent of span, and that works great for analog devices. But on a switch, I want something less nebulous. I want engineering units. So change that to engineering units and change it to one. I want our tolerance to be plus or minus one PSI. OK. Lastly, give it a name. So the position ID, I want you to make it PS1. And that stands for pressure switch one. All right, got it. Okay, we get a screenshot of how we're hooking up. Now, I just want you to know that if you did have a calibration software, we could have skipped all of these steps, and you would have jumped right to here. So this is what I mean by calibrating with a push of one button. This is that one button right there. Press start. All right. Now calibrate your switch. Okay, so here we are at 15.4, so i got to run it up to the 16. I'm going to ramp it kind of slow, right? Yep. So there it actuated, opened up, and now I'm going to run it down slowly to try to see where it resets. You got it. Bam. Well done. We've got both numbers, our set and our reset captured, and it's already stored in the calibrator, and it's calculated whether it passes or fails. So in this case, we passed. The last step is to save it. All right, so I'm going to hit the button, and I'm going to save it as both, put the data into both tables, as found and as left. Well done. You have just calibrated a switch. And now you know how to calibrate a pressure switch with the push of one button. Thanks, Roy. Anytime, Ned.